Hey guys, Robin Nishida back here with another J.E. Pistons Tech Talk. I am here at the Menace, Kyle Mohan's pit. Um, he's the only actually rotary engine car uh, running here. What do you guys do different uh, differently for this track, especially for Texas? Do you guys change anything yeah. on the setup? Well, you know, Texas is definitely a high horsepower track. With our short wheelbase MX-5, you know, we're, we're running a lot of boost. We're having a target boost of about 37 PSI. Uh, we're going to be running that high octane, uh, 98 uh, octane ethanol. And uh, it's the combination of this track being a long track, high temperatures. Um, so we buff up our cooling, we drop down our tire pressures, we run more boost, and we're just trying to get this thing locked down in fifth gear so we can make it as fast as possible down through that touch and go area. All right, this is kind of cool. You're going towards uh, my next question. Um, you, you say you're going to bring out a lot of power. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of grip. Uh, you're going to be burning through a lot of tires. About how many tires do you have to go through per round? Um, in general throughout the Formula Drift Series? You know, I would say it definitely varies from round to round. Um, you know, the series really does a good job on kind of letting us have equal practice times, but I would say I use anywhere from about 20 to 30 tires per event. Um, obviously, if everything's going good, I'm, I'm up in that 30 tire range. Um, but you really look at it between any type of motorsport, the cost of our tires are a lot less than a big slick tire, so I really feel like it's still a great sport, you know, when it comes to the wear and tear on the cars. Oh, there you go. That's a little bit of setup difference and how many tires he's go to. Thank you and good luck yeah. this weekend. Hey, thank you so much. You know, follow Kyle Mohan Racing. We're out here shredding tires, having fun, blowing big flames out of our ethanol car. Yeah.